Hello and welcome, I'm Nathan 42 and this is Cool Things number 3. Okay, so I've got some different things for you this time and uh, yeah, let's just start off with this. What we have here is a doorstop. So, uh, a few of these will be based off of what I've recently had to acquire. And I recently had to get a doorstop to keep my door open during the wind, to keep a good airflow in my room and uh, to try and cool it down a little bit because it's been a bit it's been a bit warmer here in the UK when I say warmer I mean about 20 degrees maybe 18 to 20 degrees <laughs> when you're used to about five or six it's, it's a bit warmer um, so yeah here is a doorstop it looks cool I printed one of these myself actually I will post a picture if I remember um, and yeah it's good it looks good. I thought that this big ring here would actually fit on the handle. Uh, it doesn't fit around the handle enough to actually have it hang down. But for some doors it might do. Um, and that would be quite handy. Because then it kind of can stick to the door as well. And it makes sense that way. Uh, and then next up we have... Oh, sorry. I should mention this is from Chris MUC. So thanks, Chris MUC. I need to make sure that I do credit everyone who has done this because it's uh, important. This is Tim Postman's Reinforced Slingshot. So Tim has come to me uh, a couple of times in the past about things that he's created. This is a slingshot. And as you can see, it's a very easy one to print, a uh, very easy one to make. I might actually print one of these myself. Uh, and you can just do it yourself with a bit of, uh, you know, this uh, gaffer tape type stuff, two elastic bands, and the slingshot body, uh, which is reinforced with these big uh, cylinders on the back here. Uh, it's... It looks like if you was to print it, it would be a very quick uh, and a very easy print. Uh, so, yeah, it says <laughs> that. Wait, so you, you can also use the old pellets, such as pellet pack, bullet bill, or other magnum pellets. Magnum pellets, wow, okay. Uh, you can also use environmentally friendly ammunition like beans, grapes, uh, or for a paintball effect, shout berries. That's pretty cool. That'd be a cool thing. Um, there is also warnings and stuff. Uh, if local laws don't allow you to print stuff like this, then don't, please, uh, don't come back to me. I waive any <laughs> right or disclaimer, and I'm sure so does Tim. So yeah, this is his reinforced thing shot. I'll move on to the next one. This is called the Impossible Table. Now I've seen a lot of YouTubers recently uh, print these ones out. I might actually print one out myself. I'm not 100% sure, because it's a very, it is really cool. Uh, the um, the way these things work and um, what you could also do I, I do actually have some uh, fishing wire for uh, you need it for the, the robotic arm that I've been trying to make for the last like three years which I just haven't got around to doing uh, but you use that for the tendons and the fingers and you can use it and you can it pulls fingers down or or back and that's the kind of stuff that you use to build this table. So this table itself is just two of these and two of these. So the, I think even the string holds the arms in place. So these three things uh, push in here and here. Oh no, it doesn't, it doesn't. They push in to these two bits here, there, there. And then the string will hold this part to the top bit, this part to the mid bit, and then this part to that bit, that part, to that bit and it holds itself together in a box now you can push it together but you can't oh wait no you can you it's very it's very interesting it's like it's, it's a really uh, it's, it's a bit of a a mind messer upper uh but it's cool it is really cool and i'm sure there's some really interesting other makes as well uh of this one um so yeah definitely give that a print if you can that's by oak 600 um which yeah I think it'll be worth it. Okay, so next we're up onto the mechanical quick grab release phone stand. Now this phone stand actually has a couple of mechanical parts. And as you can see on here, there's uh, maybe two cogs, the, the big cog thing, um, a couple of other little fiddly bits and stuff like that to hold it together. And then if you look at the back here, you can see that as you drop a phone in, it will pull this down and obviously pull the arms in. So it's like a, it's kind of like a self uh, gripping phone holder which is really cool and it has a really nice looking stand it has um, 
yeah, it's just really nice looking. Uh, so I might actually print myself one of these because just because it looks good. Um, and I mean, if I could get something like that to work in a car, which I'm sure you probably could, maybe you can adapt like the bottom bit of the space down here. Yeah, I'd recommend printing one of these. This is by Aaron Mullet Twenty Two. That's Aaron underscore Mullet Twenty Two. Thanks for the cool model. Okay, so now up here we have the mechanical iris for trash can. This is just a mechanical iris, which is uh, like a thing that you have on a camera lens. Yeah, what this one does, you put your hand in front of this little sensor here, which I will have somewhere, um, and then an Arduino or some sort of board will sense that you've put your hand in front of it, and it will open this iris. And then you can just drop your rubbish in it. Job done. It looks cool. It looks really cool. Uh, it looks kind of portly, actually. It is quite a big build. It might need a trash can to go on top of. I, I don't, I'm not sure if you print the trash can. I think you probably don't, because that would be a bit of a waste of plastic, most likely. Um, but either way, it's cool. It looks good. Um, it even has the code down here. Let's see what it does it say. Kind of what iris for a trash can. The leaves weren't printed. They were cut out of a thin plastic folder. Ah, okay. I'm not sure what he means by the leaves. But either way, it's cool looking. It does an interesting job, uh, even if maybe not that required. But it's a really good uh, example of something that you can say you 3D printed, um, if you wanted to do so. Now we're on to the next one. This is the car headrest bag hooks. So, another practical one from me. Uh, because I really do like practical prints. It does help bring home the fact that 3D printing can be used uh, as a tool to make your own life or other people's lives easier. Um, now, the headrest bag hooks, which is what this is, it just goes around the headrest. And then the two hooks here, you can put a bag on each one. It's not very hard to explain what this is. I'm not really sure why I'm explaining it, to, to be fair. Um, but yeah, there's the piece, uh, there's the part in pieces, and yeah, I mean, it's a very simple design, a very well-made design. My printer finished. Ah, my printer finished. Excellent. Um, and, you know, I can imagine it'd be very, uh, a very good one that will, that would last you a very long time. Unless you put some bags that are a bit too heavy on there. And it's even had, like, a couple of little things like this, which I won't go into. But yeah. That's that. So that is it, guys, this time for Cool Things number three. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If you uh, liked anything specific about the video, please leave a comment and let me know. If you didn't like anything, also do the same. Uh, and share it, if possible, to other people who might like one of these uh, six cool items on the list. I'm Nico42, and I will see you next time.